hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are starting this video off in my car again because we're gonna be driving to quite a few different places for this video. And this video is actually gonna be fully, solely focused on a childhood favorite lunch of mine. Ever since I've had my first meat pie, something about the combination of that pastry uh, and the gravy and the meats, sometimes there was barely any meat in the pie, and then that squirt of the tomato sauce, it just made it like the perfect combination of different flavors and textures and, and I fell in love ever since. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of my go-to places for meat pies. These are either restaurants that I used to go to a lot when I was a kid or I've grown to love as an adult. I'm gonna be ordering sort of a spectrum of different meat pies. We're definitely gonna have some of the classic beef ones, but chicken pies and lamb pies as well. So we're gonna give those a go. We have just arrived at Woolloomooloo because the first place that we're gonna be hitting up uh, in this video is a place called Flower and stone we've actually been to this cafe before in a previous video when we featured one of their lamingtons which is absolutely delicious by the way but in today's video we're going to be checking out one of their delicious pies let's go okay we are back I actually came here quite early, but there was still a pretty long line, which I guess is testament to how good their baked goods are. Um, I ended up getting two pies. So we've got a chicken pie and also a lamb pie, both of which I reckon are pretty good. So we'll get back home and then I'll cut into it and show you exactly what they look like. It smells delicious. It smells so buttery and I just can't wait to dig in. So we are gonna go with the chicken first. This is a Syrian chicken with cinnamon, cumin, sweet potatoes, and dried mint. I could smell the spices as soon as I cut into this pie. And you know, I can see the chicken, I can see the sweet potato. It's all encapsulated in this extremely flaky pastry. Holy crap, this is incredible. Okay, this is what my first bite of this chicken pie tasted like. It's like having an extremely flavorful, tender kind of chicken, and then you have it with a bunch of like vegetables, like sweet potatoes. I see tomatoes. It's seasoned very well. It's spiced very well. And then that is your bite, you know, in combination with, of course, the extremely buttery and flaky exterior. The chicken pie is absolutely delicious, but we're not done yet. We've also got a lamb pie, which is a lamb with potato and rosemary. I'm gonna cut into it and show you the cross section and then we'll go on from there. It smells absolutely amazing. And even though I haven't tasted the lamb, I can already tell just by the way it looks, it's gonna be extremely tender. This lamb is incredible. It's so flavorful. There's, there's sort of potatoes scattered throughout. You can kind of taste hints of the rosemary as well. The pastry is very crumbly, but it's not so crumbly and so soft that it can't hold the insides of the pie. If you're craving a meat pie that isn't a beef pie, definitely check out Flour and Stone. I'm a fan of both their chicken and their lamb pies. And if you want something sweet, you know, check out their, their sweet pies as well. All right, anyway, we are gonna move on to our next item, next destination on this list. We're getting back in the car. We are now at Gordon, our second destination for this video. This is the pie place that I reckon does really good sort of variety of different pies. I've had their chicken, their lamb, their beef. Uh, they're all pretty good, so I'm gonna get some of those. Hopefully they haven't sold out, please, please, please. And, um, and we'll go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sad to report back that they have sold out of their chicken and their lamb pie. In fact, I got the last one that they have, which is the beef one, which is what we'll be trying um, later. I'm gonna take this back home because my siblings would be really pissed off at me if I went to this bakery and didn't get them some pie. So I'll probably have a little bit of it and then save the rest for them. But for now, we're gonna be driving back um, and heading home to try this beautiful, piece of meat pie. All right, we are back. 
This meat pie smells so incredibly good. Um, I've just started preheating the oven. I might just put it in the oven for like maybe a minute or two, just to heat it back up a little bit again. And while we're waiting for the meat pie to heat up in the oven, I do want to let you know that I have started an Instagram called Scoffles, S-C-O-F-F-L-E-S, -F -F -E where I'll be posting just food content and I'll be writing about it as well. My face won't be on it, so it's just food uh, and you know photos of food that I've eaten and photos of food that I've made. So if you like seeing photos of food, or if you like reading about food, go, go check that page out. All right, here is the beef pie. It smells, it smells incredible. So I'm gonna cut into it. Usually I just, you know, one bite of it, but I'm meant to share it. So I'll cut into it, show you the cross section, and then, and then we'll dig in. The cross section looks really, really beautiful. I've got my thing of tomato sauce, which we will add to in just a sec, but um, let's just take our first bite and see how it is. The pastry in this pie is amazing. I don't know if my camera does it justice, but there are so many layers and it's just so incredibly rich and buttery. Having said that, the base of it isn't soggy. You know, what you don't want is a meat pie where the base is kind of like falling apart. This one holds its shape quite well. And inside the meat, it's just massive chunks of beef and the gravy is delicious. This is only the first bite. Here is the pie with some trusty tomato sauce. This is really good. I mean, I'm gonna say it's really good for every single pie that I'm gonna be having in this video because I've been there before and I like it, which is why I'm showing you this um, and telling you about it. I'm sorry that it gets so repetitive. I'm a huge fan of tomatoes as is. I add tomatoes to anything I possibly can um, within reason. And I love tomato sauce. I never not pay that extra 20 cents to get that squirty tomato thing. Unless I forget, then I, then I sort of kick myself about it. If you like meat pies and you're in the area, please check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'd love to show you the chicken one as well. The chicken one is also my favorite. I don't usually like chicken pies, but um, I really like that one. We are currently in Newtown where we're going to be visiting a few pie places that are some of my favorite places to go to for meat pies. Uh, these restaurants are quite close to each other. They're all walking distance. So that will be quite handy for us because I've just parked the car. The first pie location that we're going to be visiting here in Newtown is a place called Pie Tin. Okay, so a lot of these places only do takeaway now, so I'm eating it in my car. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. I've got a barbecue beef brisket pie from Pie Tin, and in addition to that, I got tomato sauce, and so I got it just as they came out. It's so fresh, it's actually quite hot as well. So I don't want to wait any longer before I dig in. Um, I do want to cut into this, but I don't have a table, so that's going to be quite hard. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to give you a look into what this beautiful pie looks like on the inside, and then we'll get stuck right in. Okay, let me start with the crust. The crust is extremely flaky, very, very buttery. The inside is actually extremely hot, but that gravy is delicious and the beef brisket is so tender for me the barbecue beef brisket or the classic mince is sort of kind of what i go for whenever i come to pie tin they also do really good sweet pies as well which we'll have to come back and do another episode on that but for now these beef pies this barbecue beef brisket it's just filled to the brim with really tender really flavorful beef brisket I don't think you can go wrong with it. The crust is so flaky, it's so buttery. And the inside, I kind of showed you a, a quick cross section of it, but there is beef, there's a bit of tomatoes, there's some mushrooms, barbecue sauce as well. It's the perfect food that just hits the spot and it just brings back all those memories that I have when I, you know, have a meat pie for lunch. Okay, the next 
Pie that's on this list is a place that I've featured a number of times in these videos. It's Burke Street Bakery. We've been to the one in Surrey Hills, we've been to the one in Wynyard, and now we're here at the one in Newtown. And I've just got the one that's sort of the most basic classic one. It's just a chunky beef pie. It smells absolutely delicious. It's sitting very hot on my lap right now. And I'm just gonna cut into it and show you exactly what is inside. First part that I got, there is heaps of beef. There are quite a bit of vegetables as well, but you can definitely taste like how chunky that beef is. They don't skimp on the beef and the pastry. The pastry at Burke Street Bakery never disappoints. It's so buttery, it's so flaky. I do find the, the pastry at Python more layered and even more flaky than this one, but both, in my opinion, are equally delicious. Every time I come to Burke Street Bakery, I'm never disappointed, whether it be their fennel and pork sausage roll or their desserts. The ginger creme brulee and also the lemon tart are both my favorites. And the meat pie, you can never go wrong with the meat pie. And last, but definitely not least, pies at Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Now, I've featured this place in one of my previous episodes, but my go-to is their tiger pie. It's a pie with chunks of beef topped with mashed potatoes, mushy peas, and lots of gravy. Check it out if you've never tried it before. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. This is not an exhaust, exhaustive, exhaustive, exhaustive. This is not an exhaustive list of the best meat pies in Sydney. There are so many other cafes and restaurants that do really amazing meat pies that I haven't included in this video. If you have any particular favorites, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there are enough restaurants, I'll do a part two. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Till the end, I post new videos every week, so check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, sir. Oh, where'd you get it from? Um, Gordon. Oh, yum. That's the one that mum goes to. Yeah. That's a good cut. Not I might really. just have <laughs> the, the rest of the quarter. Yeah, Morris doesn't need to know. What Morris doesn't know won't kill him. <laughs> Actually, you already had a half, Janice. That was my lunch. That was my lunch. I thought you were trying to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough tomato sauce there? You should just get a plate. What the hell, man? Good? Mm. Mm. Steak pie? Yeah.